guys? Welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you guys a look inside of my traveling nail train case that I use. This is my train case that I use when I go on jobs on location to do different nail services and I thought it would just be cool to show you guys what I bring along with me and there's also some cool like nail art goodies in there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just keep watching. Also, it's a super gloomy and super rainy day today, so number one, that's why I'm filming in my living room floor again, and number two, I apologize if you hear any rain on the 10 awnings, but this is as much light as I could get anywhere in this house today since I have to use natural lighting, so yeah, let's just hopefully get through that and hopefully you don't hear too much background noise, but this is what my train case looks like. I just used this really small one for now, and I also have another... Um, smaller bag that I bring with me to fit even more supplies but this is just the main stuff that I use when I go on jobs and in here I have everything from nail care to nail cleanup to nail art and polishes and all the things like that so let's just dig right in it opens up the two sides fold down and then the trays come out and there's three shelves on each tray and then you have the big open at the bottom so I'm just going to start on the shelves on the top of the train case. So the first things that I bring, super boring for you guys, but of course I have my buffers and my files and all of my disposable things that I use to actually do manicures and pedicures. And then I have things that would need to be sanitized, such as different nail clippers and toenail clippers and scissors and just different things like that, like cuticle pushers that are plastic and need to be sanitized. And then I have boring things like cotton and these lint pads that I use. I always use lint-free nail wipes and instead of cotton whenever I'm working with acrylic or gel just because you don't want to get the fuzzies in your nail enhancement. And then I just have more super boring things like all of my towels and my hand sanitizer. But now let's get into some fun stuff. So one of these things that I actually hauled in my latest vlog video, I'll link that one down below if you guys wanna check it out, but I keep some things for nail art. So one thing that's super easy to do, when, especially when you're on location because it's super quick and super easy, are nail stickers. And I actually picked up a couple um, from Essie and these are a zebra print and a cheetah print. And what I love about nail stickers is like I said, it's super simple and super easy to do. And there's really not a lot of prep work involved and you just slap these suckers on. You can finish with a top coat if you want to, be it normal polish or gel, and you're good to go. And it looks like your client has a completely manicured look and you really did not take that much time to do it. Also, what I like to bring with me are things like glitters and rhinestones just because whatever I'm doing on location services, I'm never doing acrylics and I rarely will do gels. So I'm working a lot with natural nails. So you want to bring other embellishments that you can really jazz up the natural nail manicures. And these are just two that I always keep on me because they're the colors that I use most often and they are some they are some gold and silver glitters. I just picked these up from Michael's Craft Store, I believe, and they are just some little micro glitters. And I like to sprinkle this into the polish, into gel, and then finish it with a top coat. And it just looks so gorgeous and so sparkly. I like to bring the rhinestones, as I said. I just have this little pack here. This is so perfect for traveling. It's so perfect to put in my traveling case because it has 12 different dividers here and all different color rhinestones. And whenever I run out or I'm getting close to running out, I'll just order more and I'll refill all of the rhinestones in here because it's so perfect to just throw in my bag and go. And then along with that, I just keep some glue. My favorite kind ever is from Beauty Secrets and I picked this up from Sally's. Perfect for traveling because you guys, it stands up on its own. Of course, it's not gonna stand up on my hand while I'm filming this but it stands up on the table on its own. It's so handy and it's so perfect for traveling nail techs. Also, something that's super helpful, super helpful? Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing. Something that's also super helpful for nail techs when you're trying to do your nail art on the go and you don't wanna to waste too much cleanup time is the nail stripers that I rave about. You guys have heard me talk about these so many times. These are just from the brand Kiss, and this one here is from LA Colors, just because I couldn't find a gold in the Kiss packs. But yeah, these are just these really skinny nail stripers. It's so much easier to have these on the go because 
you because if you're in a stressful situation where you're having to cram all these different clients in and you're having to go as fast as you can you don't want to worry about finding different nail brushes and then having your palette and setting up all of your colors and then you have to clean off all of your brushes in between all of your designs and it just gets too time consuming so it's really awesome to just have those nail stripers it just makes everything go by so much quicker and it looks beautiful you guys know if I'm talking about nail art I have to mention my dotting tools that I picked up from Amazon lifesavers for are so many different kinds of nail art that I do all the time and then of course I think I've also mentioned this but I keep a dapping dish I don't have it in here right now I don't know where it's at but I keep a little glass dapping dish and then I have my cleanup brush this is just my elf concealer brush and I use it for a quick clean up clean up oh my gosh that was so hard to say I just use it for a quick cleanup around the nails to make sure everything is completely polished and oh, I have to mention a good base coat and top coat, especially when you're traveling on location. You want to make sure you have quick dry everything because you're on the go. You're probably more than likely going to be doing more than one client and it's back to back. They're going to be going to their events or their weddings or their, their photo shoots or their fashion shows or whatever it may be. And you want to make sure they're not having to wait forever for dry time. So my favorite ever top coat of life that I have ever tried is out the door top coat this is the big salon bottle but they do come in the smaller normal sized polish bottles but it's just out the door it is a super quick fast drying top coat and it leaves a gorgeous shine it's super quick drying it doesn't smear or streak my nail art and I love this guy also I'm going to be filming a Q&A video that's going to be going up later this week I don't know if it's going to be Wednesday's upload or Friday's but leave any questions you guys have for me down below in the comments it can be anything beauty related makeup hair fashion of course nails anything about my career about blogging about vlogging anything you guys want to know I'd love to answer your questions so also, before I go I wanted to let you guys know that my boyfriend Derek you guys have met him in my boyfriend tag video I'll have that link down below if you want to see that one too basically he has just launched a Kickstarter campaign and if you guys are not familiar with that I'll have that website link down below as well for you to check it out and also his direct campaign link but Basically, he is a young entrepreneur and he has a business he is trying to get off the ground. And it is basically a handmade, handcrafted leather and canvas goods business. He makes amazing products. He makes everything from wallets to keychains all the way to totes and handbags and clutches. Really awesome stuff. You guys have seen some of his products in my past outfit of the days and you will be seeing more here in the future. Anybody can share, anybody can make donations, anything like that. Any little bit helps and I know he would be so, so, so grateful. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.